Many thanks to PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Good day everyone, I'm Yankee Oscar 6 Delta X-Ray Echo. Welcome back to the X Explorer for another video. In the today's video, which is finally going to be a short one, we're going to talk really quick about my very cute and simple CW kit that I wanted to finish for some time now. Unfortunately, it was really hard to find the, the little parts that I needed to finish this one and I'm still missing one single component, but we're going to take a closer look in a little bit. Um, and of course, I cannot continue without saying thank you to my friends at PCB Way for always supporting and sponsoring the DX Explorer videos. Remember, they have great PCB prototyping services, PCB assembly, CNC, 3D printing, SMD stencils and a lot more services available for you. Now, when it comes to 3D printing, feel free to design your own project or maybe to download some project files from some website online, upload them to PCB Way, place your order and wait for the parts to arrive. You can finish your project in just a little bit. It doesn't take too long and the quality of the 3D printing is fantastic. If you don't have an account for PCB Way, please have a look in the video description. You have a link. Register using that link and you have a discount on your first order. As I'm always saying, PCB Way is the way. All right, here we are. This is the tiny and cute uh, CW key. It works fantastic and I'll show you really quick just now. You can adjust the, the height, the action basically of the key uh, with this screw over here. But um, this one I'm going to replace it. I'm going to use, um, I forgot how you call that key. This has like a hexagon shape and I'm going to put one of those screws because it's a lot easier. Um, I have one of those with me all the time. I don't always uh, have a screwdriver around, but that one I always have with me uh, in the uh, photo backpack. So <laughs> I'm trying to use the uh, the tools that I have. And I also need a screw over here that will go from one side to the other one. But I, I haven't found one that is uh, long enough for now. And two uh, log, um, log nuts. Um, uh, one on each side that will keep this a little bit tighter because if you don't tight uh, this uh, enough the key is like wobbling into the into the base and I don't like that so if you if you uh, have this a little bit tight it doesn't move anymore and it has a really nice action it's a really beautiful key it's really tiny but for me it, it feels very comfortable I really love it. It has this um, uh, jack output for um, for a little cable that you can connect it between the key and the transceiver. On the back it's very simple. You have two wires uh, that get connected to the um, uh, to the jack output. One is the base contact and I'll show you in a little bit um, from what I've made this one because I really wanted brass um, brass parts to have here. My fingers are too big oops the magnet I wanted brass parts because they, they don't rust and um, I had issues with that in the past on other keys so uh, that's the reason why I wanted to use brass uh, what I did here instead of uh, using the original screw I had to drill a bigger hole uh, using a, a drill bit and then when I screwed this one inside the base uh, basically I have the wire uh, over here you know right next to the screw so it, it has a good contact between the wire and the um, the little base over here. Unfortunately, one problem that I had was I couldn't find magnets on, on the right size as it was called into the original design. So um, I either had really tiny magnets which were uh, too big and I thought uh, placing those and um, using some uh, epoxy or something but it looked bad. So I ended up using uh, bigger magnets. Unfortunately, the ones that I have are not that powerful so here on the base I used, I believe I have three magnets over here. Um, two over here and one that goes inside the base. So it's three magnets on top of each other. And here in the arm I have another magnet. And it's still not that strong as I would like it to be. And I'll tell you why I like it to be strong is that being such a tiny key, when you rest your, your hand on the table, um, usually you, you sit with uh, with your hand uh, on the key if you 
don't pay attention uh, accidentally you can actually touch the key and it's really easy to to touch it and make a contact so basically you're transmitting without even wanting to transmit <laughs> and sometimes you might mess up the code so i think what i'm going to do uh, if i don't have uh, if i don't find magnets strong enough for this one i'll probably uh, drill a little hole right underneath uh, this uh, uh, this one over here uh, one into the arm one into the base like a li really tiny hole and place a, um, a little spring just to increase the the strength of the um, basically the the pressure on the key and uh, with this screw you can adjust the action of the key let me see it's hard to see through the camera i'm not sure if you can see over there i'm minimizing the action or maybe you want something bigger and then you increase the distance as you prefer um, i like it to be smaller i feel <laughs> efficient i'm not a hardcore cw um, operator i don't even know the code that's why i'm building the the key <laughs> i really want to learn it and uh, you know for me the cw key by the way do you know that i actually got into the amateur radio hobby because of cw um, i'm not so much into ssb i'm definitely not much into um, into digital modes that's the reason why i got into the hobby and i can't believe i have the the license since 2022 and i still don't know the code i really want to take my time this year and learn it all right now let's take it apart really quick because since i didn't finish it um, i wanted to show you that it's really really easy to build actually okay now let me take this little thing out i didn't glue this one just yet just so i can uh, remove it and show you so you have this little part over here it has a screw over there and a nut sorry a screw and a nut um, that one also uh, i didn't had the the right size that i needed so what i had to do um, I had to uh, place it inside over there, uh, heating it up with the uh, soldering iron in order to, to make it fit into that hole uh, design for the nut. But it works so far. I'm just going to have to replace the screw with a hexagon head uh, to, to be able to use, <coughs> to use it with that. Um, by the way, um, in the video description uh, for the files for this CW key, I'm going to uh, give you two versions. It's the original design and it's like a, a remix. Uh, the remix has a few improvements. Um, you will not see the wire coming through here. I think it goes from underneath and I think that one is a lot better. Uh, probably I'm going to end up ordering that one as well. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but in, in reality, what I would like to do is like, I would like to uh, replicate this CW key using brass and wood. So probably that's why I'm going to end up doing at some point. I'm not sure if I'm going to order another uh, 3D printed key. But I'm going to use this one as the base for my design. And that one probably I will build just a little bit bigger, not, not too big. So we have this arm. Let me take this carefully because I have the wire and everything is soldered already. Um, I have these two washers. Um, not sure. I think it's some sort of plastic or something that I have in each side of the bearings. So I have two bearings in each side. One, uh, sorry, I mean one in one side and the other one in the in the other side. And once you place the the little washers, they will hold really tight and this key moves really nice so this is the magnet the first one this is the brass piece that i used and over here i used another brass key uh, in here it was supposed to be another screw as well but as i was saying um, i wanted uh, brass so i found a little piece of brass that uh, i basically um, drilled the hole a little bit bigger just to be able to fit this piece of brass um, and this one goes 
uh, it has a screw head basically somewhere over there so I had to drill a, a little bit um, into this handle over here uh, just to be able to fit it and this one I just fit into the with the brass basically I, and I, I glued it using super glue um, the, the brass and the the little handle to the moving arm so it stays really nice and secure this is the second magnet the wire goes through the arm it comes outside over here and then it goes through the base and on the other side oops so yeah it's a really really simple design <laughs> but uh, really nice and efficient and works and I really like it anyway I'm going to put it together after that so um, yeah let me show you really quick the brass parts the, that I found and what I used uh, just in case you want to find something similar and I told I will tell you exactly where I found those <laughs> so just in case you're looking for some inspiration to find some brass parts uh, these ones I found in uh, in hinges for the for the doors you know like uh, door hinges that uh, you can uh, actually uh, adjust the distance um, I found some really nice ones that had these uh, brass screws so I used this one uh, that's what I have in the base over here sorry <coughs> this is the one over here in the base and the cat is scratching my door right now now on the other side on top over here in the in the moving arm I have something like this but it was like a really smaller size and these ones are the ones that you use to uh, put shelves in the furniture something similar to this one I'm pretty sure you're familiar, <laughs> familiar with these ones or something like this but this is not brass so I was looking for something that is brass uh, this is great or you can use this one uh, it's from the electrical plug sometimes I'm using this one uh, just because they make a really nice contact like let me see this one also has a really nice rounded shape on the bottom so it makes a good contact as well you just sand them with a little bit of sandpaper or like a little file and then it's uh, it, it works fantastic so that's it for today this is it with my CW key. I hope you, you like this little project. I, I, I'm really happy with the way it turns out. Um, so yeah, um, I guess I'll see you in the next video. Until then, thanks so much for watching. 73 from Yankee Oscar 6, Delta X-Ray Echo. And because Easter just passed, I would like to say a late happy Easter to everyone that celebrated Easter. So I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.